just wanted to make a couple of comments about baptism. Uh, sometimes we take these things for granted in terms of the significance and uh, the meaning. These folks have been uh, thinking through how God saved them. And God chose something very special to represent that. Uh, the word baptism in its basic meaning uh, as it was used in old times, is to be overwhelmed. And God chose that concept to describe what happens when we're saved. The triune God literally overcomes. He overwhelms. He overtakes us. And, and the work that he does is, is amazing. Think of the Father who, who loved you and who had a plan for your life and who chose you, who sent his son. That's why we baptize everybody in the name of the Father. And think of the son who came and lived a perfect life, set aside his divine rights, you might say, and lived as a human with faith in his Father, obeying perfectly the Father's will, and then died for us, rose again, and ascended. Well, that's why we immerse people in the name of the Son. And in the name of the Holy Spirit, who's He? <laughs> it's the Spirit of Jesus. It's the Spirit of Christ who He promised to send to us. He's the one who gave you new life. He's the one who birthed you into God's family. He's the one who sealed you for eternity. He is the source of life in your life and the source of power. So as these folks celebrate their salvation it isn't that they're getting saved today, it's that they're doing this reenactment, this object lesson that God has given. Every time a person steps forward, we celebrate this amazing salvation that God has given us. So that's what it's about today. All right, we're gonna start here. Matt is the brave volunteer. I just wanna commend him for going first here. So Matt, why don't you go ahead and share. My name is Matt Hecht. Um, I accepted Christ seven years ago. Um, I was with my wife. Um, growing up, I lived, we were in a Christian home and everything, and I was baptized as an infant. But uh, I'm here today to renew that with Christ. Um, for the past 10 years, I've been, been living a lie with myself, um, and I just want to renew my faith with Christ and uh, be baptized today and understand now that I know He's the sole reason why I'm here and that I can't do anything without him so and that's why I'm here to get baptized today I'm Maya McCoy I was when I was like in, when I was four in preschool I was um yeah when he was four he asked Christ to come into his life and you got saved because you wanted God to wash my sins. My name is Kay Sanders, and I choose to accept my to give my life to Christ because when I went to Kalahari, the speaker there asked us all to commit our lives to Christ, and I was one of the people who did that. Uh, my friends were there with me, which really helped, and I want to get baptized today because I felt like after I committed my life, I really need to show God that I loved him and all the other people, so I felt like I kind of needed to get baptized. I'm Lexi, and I committed Christ into my heart when I was younger, but it never seemed like it was, we couldn't ever find the right time to get baptized until two weeks ago when we were at church and I heard about this and I was like, it is the time. It was the time for me to change, like to be fully committed to Christ and I'm ready. Thank you. <laughs> I'm Avery and we're sisters and um, I, it was about eight years ago and it was at my old church in Sunday school. And again, two weeks ago, I decided in church when I heard it was at Elm Creek, I felt like it was the right time to take another step in my life. 
and show everybody that I accepted Christ. <laughs> Hi, I'm Lexi, and um, I accepted Christ when I was six years old with my mom in her room. And I want to get baptized today just to take another um, step in my faith and be obedient to the Lord. Um, I've always wanted to get baptized, but when I heard, like they did two weeks ago, um, that we were getting baptized here at Allen Creek, like my sisters did, I wanted to get baptized with my brother. And we decided that this is a appropriate time to get baptized. I'm Grant Fisher, and I grew up in a Christian family, and I accepted Christ when I was five years old with my parents in my room, and I'm deciding to get baptized today to take a step in obedience and make a public statement that I'm following Jesus Christ. Hi, I'm Taylor, and um, I accepted Christ four years ago at a sports camp at our church, and um, I decided to get baptized today because um, uh, every time I would see someone get baptized, I would always want to, and I felt like the Lord wanted me to, and my dad would always ask me, but uh, this time, not too long ago, he would ask me much more, and then I decided to. Hello, I'm uh, Jesse Johnson, and I became a Christian um, when I was a kid, but I never really uh, fully dedicated my life to Christ, and I never was uh, baptized, and I just feel like I'm at a place in my life right now where I really want to do that, and this is kind of just me showing that. I'm Karen Johnson, and uh, I was baptized as a baby. I don't remember it <laughs> at all. And um, I did not grow up in the church or with faith. Um, I came to know the Lord very late in life. And so since then, I've always wanted to be baptized just where it was my choice. And um, um, so I've been wanting to do that for a long time. And I think if you don't grow up with the faith and not trusting in God, it's very, that's a hard concept to learn as an adult. Trust, trust, trust. You're so used to trusting yourself. And uh, so that's been a process for me, but I feel um, God's really been working my life and saying, trust me. And uh, he's been pursuing me. And so this is just a public acknowledgement of that and uh, the trust and a celebration of that. So. Well, my name is Tim Jones. I was 14 years old when I was saved. I was at a basketball camp and uh, with a group of friends. Um, I, I had not planned on doing this today. Quite honestly, I was going to come and support my wife and daughter. Um, I have been putting this off for some time and trying to get myself perfect before I was able to come and get baptized. Um, and that's not going to happen. So, <laughs> But um, it, it's been a very strange summer, and, and I felt like I've been asleep all summer. It's just it's um, been numb and uh, it's trying to fight back but getting in my own way and, and, and things like that and, and quite honestly this morning I brought this book with me to, to church and I was going to take notes and and I would conv convinced myself haha uh, that uh, something was gonna happen today and and I don't know why but at the top of my notes when I flipped open my notebook I wrote down the death of me and I, and I can't really explain why that happened, but, um, and then I started to, to pray, and I was, I was praying silently and a little bit out loud and closing my eyes and listening to the, um, the worship music, and I just kept saying, I'm so filthy, I'm so filthy, and I heard as clear as day, let me wash you, mm. and that's why I'm here today. Thank you. I'm Jill Jones. Um, I wasn't raised in a Christian home. Um, my parents thought that we would find God, at least they hoped we would find God on our own accord, and I did when I was in my 20s. And I was sprinkled on, and, and I've been wanting to do this for I don't know how many years, and I don't know why. I mean, God knows why it's today, but 
it's just such an overwhelming feeling and I had such a sense of urgency to do it today. And I'm so excited to be able to share it with my daughter and to share it with my husband. What a surprise. But it's just out of, I want to walk with him. I want to walk the path he walked. And this is one thing that he did. So why, why, why wouldn't I want to do this? The sprinkling was not good enough for me. And I know it wasn't good enough for him. And I'm just so grateful to be here to celebrate with all these people as another step in walking my faith. I'm Emma Jones. I accepted Jesus when I was six years old in my room. I did it because my mom was raised, or she loved Jesus so much, and I decided I wanted to do it like her. After that, I immediately told my parents that I accepted Jesus, and I haven't really, I got baptized when I was a baby, and I don't remember that, but I I want to be baptized today because I want to share my faith with others and I want to show them that I love Jesus and I want to have a better relationship with Jesus. I'm Jerry Ann Patterson. Um, I committed my life to Jesus when I was confirmed as a fifth grader. Um, it wasn't until I joined the community at Grace Church that I realized all the blessings that I have been giving, uh, given all of even trials and tribulations and challenges, um, it's, they're still all blessings because I grow from them. And so I wanted to recommit myself and, and have a testimony that I am obedient to God no matter what he hands me because he's always there to support me. So. I'm Amber Otten, and the first time I asked Christ in my heart was when I was about seven with my grandma in her car. And as I was growing up, I would always go to Awana with my family, and I would always, like, go to church. And so I knew that I had God in my heart, and I knew that I know about Him, and I wanted to get baptized today to show everyone that I love Christ. My name is Lexi Hackbarth, and I accepted Jesus Christ in my heart when I was about eight years old at a church camp with my friends. And I'm getting baptized today because I knew I always loved Jesus and I wanted to show him that I do. And I thought today was a good day to do it with one of my best friends. Uh, my name is Corey Tkosik. Um I was baptized uh, when I was a child as well. Um, but as I was telling Dustin <clears throat> when we went to classes here that um, I went to church decent amount I guess when I was a kid but um, I don't I couldn't tell you one sermon I remember uh, or anything of that nature I just remember going to church and um, about a year ago had some struggles with just life and work and um, we got involved with Grace Church and um, you know just uh, finally get on the right track I guess if you will and um, you know, it's taken us some time to kind of come to grips with some of the things that we need to do. And uh, I really just want to kind of be a, a better role model for my family and my children. So, uh, you know, after 41 years, it's, it's time to get on the right path, I guess. My name is Lisa Tukasik. I am Corey's wife. Um, I grew up in a church family also. We went to church every Sunday, um, but I didn't really get it. Um, in high school, I think I started veering off the path of even wanting to go to church. Um, we got married kind of at a young age, um, and we struggled with whether or not we, what church we wanted to be at. Um, we tried out several, and last year, probably about this time, we were going some, through some hard times, um, and we decided that the church is where we needed to be. and. We, we tried out, like I said, several churches, and we fell in love with Grace Church, and um, we've just, we've loved it ever since, and, and today is the day that we have decided that we do need to be baptized to prove it. All right, so we have Ava here. Ava, can you tell us when you accepted Jesus? When I was three years old in my room. Wow, and who was with you? 
nobody. <laughs> All right. And why did you do that? Why do you need Jesus as your Savior? Because it's hard to do stuff without him. All right. And why are you getting baptized today? Because I want Jesus Christ with me. Is this a step of you being obedient? You've accepted Jesus and he's your Savior, and now you want to show others that he's in your heart? Yes. All right. Great job. Um, when I accepted Jesus as my Lord and Savior, I was at Iwana. I was seven years old. It was my first year there. And when Mark was praying for anyone who had not accepted Jesus into their hearts to come up and talk to him or someone about it and then get him in their hearts. So I decided to go up and talk to him about it, and that's where I did it. And today I want to be baptized because I want to follow Jesus in all that I do, and I want to show everyone that I want to walk with him. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. Good job.